to kick off 2017 with winter weather dominating the headlines. WNCT's Jessica Jewell has a look at the top stories in your Week in Review. Sorry. I guess this time of year can never get enough rock salt. People across the country are still dealing with the impacts of the first winter storm of the year. Predictions for several inches of snow turned into a wintry mix here in the east. All North Carolina counties were placed under a state of emergency. Hundreds of accidents were reported statewide. That number may rise as single digit temperatures could keep ice on the roads. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to start it. Governor Roy Cooper wrapped up a busy first week in office. He was officially sworn in at midnight January 1st and held a public inauguration yesterday. Already a fight is brewing in the General Assembly over health care. Governor Cooper says he wants to expand Medicaid. That affects all of us. It affects our health care plans. It affects the teachers and state employees plan. It affects the direct cost to us. Republican lawmakers say Cooper doesn't have the authority to make changes to Medicaid coverage on his own. He comes on over a little bit and hangs out with me. He's a good boy, but I just can't imagine how, how the family is now. I just need prayers uplifted for him. And in Beaufort County, family and friends are mourning the loss of a six-year-old girl. Police say Victoria Whitehurst's 11-year-old cousin accidentally shot her. They say he was showing off his new shotgun when it went off, killing Victoria and injuring a family dog. With your Week in Review, I'm Jessica Jewell, 9 on your side.